In the lands surrounded by the Aegean and Ionian seas, two regional powers had risen, both brimming with intrigue and ambition, both promoting different political philosophies, and both developing strong and complex regional alliances. In time, these alliances and differences would reach a boiling point, setting in motion a conflict that would redefine the landscape of war. Hello, and welcome to Impactful Moments, where we explore some of the most you guessed it, impactful moments in human history. In this video, we will discuss the Peloponnesian War, the ancient clash that reshaped a region and the art of war itself. In ancient Greece, Greek city-states repelled continuous attacks from the Persian Empire in what were known as the Greco-Persian Wars. The aftermath of these wars saw the emergence of two major Greek powers, Athens and Sparta, each with distinct strengths. Athens, a naval force, formed the Delian League. Initially aimed to safeguard against the Persian Empire, the League evolved into a de facto Athenian Empire. Sparta, known for its formidable land forces, led the Peloponnesian League and viewed Athens with suspicion due to its expansionist ambitions. In 460 BCE, tensions escalated into a series of battles known as the First Peloponnesian War, with Sparta gaining a non-decisive victory in this precursor to the more significant Peloponnesian War that would follow. In 445 BCE, both sides signed the Thirty Years' Peace, but it faced significant challenges. A series of tensions arose beginning in 440 BCE, when Samos, an Athenian ally, threatened to secede from the Delian League, exposing Athens' vulnerability. Sparta, however, refrained from attacking, keeping the peace. In 433 BCE, Corinth, a staunch ally of Sparta, saw its colony Corcyra, which had a significant naval presence, seek an alliance with Athens, leading to the Battle of Cybota. In the same year, Athens pressured Potidaea, a Corinthian colony and Delian League member, to dismantle its walls and sever ties with Corinth. Corinth promised support to Potidaea if they rebelled, which they did, leading to the Battle of Potidaea. Tensions finally came to a head in 432 BCE, when Athens pressured the strategically located Megara into an alliance through an embargo. Sparta demanded a repeal of the Megarian decrees, but Athens refused, leading to Sparta's declaration of war. During the first leg of the Peloponnesian War, called the Archidamian War, Sparta's land power, led by King Archidamus, raided and sieged towns and the countryside around Athens on the Attica Peninsula. Athens, the naval powerhouse, retaliated with naval attacks on towns along the Peloponnesian coast, securing strategic naval victories at locations like Napactus. Back on land, Athens was largely defensive, protected from Spartan raids and sieges by a protective wall that connected the city to a port at Piraeus. However, contaminated food shipments led to a devastating plague in Athens, claiming the lives of up to a third of its population, including its leader Pericles. Athens' new leader, Cleon, adopted a more aggressive approach under General Demosthenes, launching attacks on Spartan coastal cities, establishing posts across the Peloponnese, notably at the port of Pylos, where they repelled the Spartan navy. In a related conflict on the nearby island of Sphacteria, Athens encircled a small Spartan land army, leading to their surrender, which shattered the perception of Spartan land invincibility, shifting the war in Athens' favor. Sparta retaliated as General Brasidas attacked Amphipolis, an Athenian colony in Thrace that provided wealth to Athens through silver mines. Attempts to reclaim Amphipolis resulted in substantial Athenian losses as well as the deaths of both Cleon and Brasidas, resulting in a truce known as the Peace of Nicias in 421 BCE. The peace lasted for six shaky years, with Sparta facing internal turmoil. A democratic coalition, led by the city of Argos and backed by Athens, attempted to break away, but was re-secured within the Peloponnesian League following the hotly contested Battle of Mantinea in 418 BCE, which brought Sparta to the brink of defeat before turning the tide. 
In 415 BCE, Athens launched an expedition to Sicily to aid allies against the city of Syracuse and to pursue territorial ambitions. Led by Alcibiades, Athens was initially successful, but the situation changed when he was recalled to Athens to stand trial for religious crimes, causing his defect to Sparta. Aided by both support from Persia, who wanted an end to the Delian League, and Alcibiades' Athenian knowledge, Spartan forces, led by General Gallipolis, went to Sicily and wiped out the Athenian fleet and army, commanded by Nicias and Demosthenes. Back in Greece, Spartans also blocked land wealth and supply routes to Athens by fortifying the strategic town of Decalia and cutting off Athenian silver mines, leading to Delian tension and revolts. These troubles collectively brought Athens to the brink of surrender. Following a Spartan plot against him, Alcibiades defected to Persia, convincing them to limit Spartan support, and was then welcomed back to Athens leading a remarkable recovery while Spartan allies hesitated to attack. Sparta regained support from Persia under the leadership of Lysander and won a series of naval victories, including battles at Nodium and more decisively at Egospotami, which all but wiped out the remaining Athenian fleet. Faced with disease and starvation from a prolonged siege, Athens finally surrendered in 404 BCE. The immediate impacts of the war were deeply profound, setting in motion events that would alter world history. Athens experienced a dramatic decline, becoming a shell of its former self. The city was forced to dismantle its protective walls and disband the Delian League, making Sparta the unquestionable power in Greece. The weakening of all parties involved also marked the fading of the Greek Golden Age. External powers also took note. Persia's long-standing objective to diminish Greece's physical and political influence was realized and they were no longer seen as a significant threat. Greece's weakened state also attracted the interest of new external powers, laying the groundwork for Philip of Macedon's future conquests that would set in motion a series of transformative developments through his son Alexander the Great. Beyond its role as a historical account, the Peloponnesian War, which was meticulously documented by Thucydides, served as a guide for understanding the complexities of political motivations in times of conflict. It has laid the groundwork for the study of military and diplomatic strategy and tactics of warfare throughout the ages, and serves as a source for valuable insight into foreign policy, including phenomenon coined Thucydides traps, which occur when established powers perceive threats from upstarts, as was the case with Sparta and Athens. Tactically, Athens' fortified naval empire and Sparta's land-based tactics offer a wealth of case studies for both defensive and offensive strategies that continue to be scrutinized in contemporary military academics. The war also introduced and refined military political tactics, such as allegiances, economic embargoes, and other diplomatic strategies that are still employed in conflicts and negotiations today. The aftermath of the Peloponnesian War also set in motion a series of events that have profoundly impacted the direction of world history. As noted, it paved the way for the rise of Philip of Macedon and subsequently the conquests of his son Alexander the Great. Through his campaigns, Greek ideals and culture were able to gain incredible traction, spreading from the Balkans to the Indus Valley, sowing the seeds of a culture that would pass to the Romans and lay the foundations of modern Western society. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us to continue creating captivating, impactful historical content. Thanks for watching.